five main categories under this particular uh, regulated e-waste itself. The first category would be your infocom technology equipment or your ICT equipment. Some examples will actually include things such as your handphones, your computers, your laptops and tablets. Um, the next category that we're looking at will be your large household appliances. So things such as your fridge, your aircons and your televisions. Then the next one will actually be your electrical mobility devices. So things like your e-scooters for example. And the next two categories are your household um, batteries, so the double AA, triple AAA batteries. This also includes your power banks as well. And the last category would be your fluorescent light tubes and also light bulbs. So each of the bin itself is actually um, equipped with a sensor. So the sensor will actually detect the capacity of the bin. So once it reaches a certain volume, it will notify us and then we will actually schedule it for collection. So once the bins are being collected and they are being brought back over to our facility, the first thing that we do is that we will weigh them. So the next step will actually be sorting out. Our guys will actually sort them out according to the different categories of consumer e-waste. So once the items are all sorted out and once they reach a certain volume, we'll send them over to the e-waste recyclers that we do work with. Mobile phones can be recycled up to around 90%. For all mobile phones, we actually go to our dismantling area. First step of all is actually remove of the covers. After the cover, we will follow by the PCB, then the battery, then the screen and stuff. After we get their individual parts, right, we actually uh, send to their respective uh, recycler. So for example, the plastic, we go to the plastic recycler, battery to battery recycler. And for the PCB, we actually had to consolidate a, like a substantial amount in order to send for refinery. So many people are afraid of losing their phone because the main reason is all the data and privacy stuff are all inside the phone, right? If you were to actually put into an e-waste bin, it's secure in a way. There's a CCTV as well there won't be any breach of data. Mobile phone that is being thrown to the like normal bins, there's a risk of uh, you know being thrown to the landfills. This are mobile phone that actually contains heavy metals like lead or mercury. Because uh, the constant exposure of uh, like sunlight and rain, you actually corrode the thing. So after when you corrode the thing from the soil you go into the water. So you actually contaminate the water. We made it really easy and made it really convenient for the public to actually recycle their electronic waste with us and that's one of the biggest reasons why um, there is such an increase in the amount of handfuls that's being collected. Another reason will actually be in terms of the, our engagement and outreach efforts. We try to raise awareness about the e-waste recycling program and to get the public to recycle their electronic waste with us uh, safely.